Let's analyze some altcoins. PNG. I think I've done PNG. You know, I've done PNG uh, a couple of times. Yeah, I don't think there's anything I'm really going to say that, you know, that's going to change what I've already said recently. Uh, and the reason is because, you know, it hasn't really gone anywhere. Uh, but this looks really good from, you know, a bullish outlook. Uh, if this low is taken now, if 44 cents is taken now, uh, we catching this project, you know, back right here, 35 or 32. Uh, from a bullish, like if you bullish on this thing, uh, it, it can't lose 32 cents. If it lose 32 cents, it is lights out, guys. Uh, I don't think that's going to happen. You know, I think we are going to stay above, you know, 40 cents. And, uh, you know, we do have a first target around 62 cents. And after that, we have uh, 84 cents. So those will be my, you know, first two targets. Uh, but this looks really good. I like it. Uh, yeah, look at different indicators, you know, MACD right here looking really good. Uh, going back to uh, the daily, uh, if you look at the Bollinger Bands, uh, we need to break above, you know, 50 cents. Uh, right now we are in, uh, in a bearish territory. So we need to get back above 50 cents. Uh, but overall, this looks really good to me. Uh, add Turkish subtitles. Uh, you know, that depends. That depends. I gotta have a bigger, if I have a bigger audience in Turkey, you know, in Turkey, then I will absolutely do that. But if you like, you know, if you're the only person or if it's like just five of you, yeah, I don't know how helpful that is. Cause it could be, you know, it could be a distraction to, you know, to others. And also, you know, more people may ask me to do the same thing for, you know, for different language. Uh, smash the like button, guys. Smash the like button. All right. I want you guys to like the video. Like, like, like. All right. Let's, let's run through, you know, some of these old coins uh, while you guys are here. Uh, let me see. Uh, if you guys have something, just, you know, put them in the comment section, guys. Uh, what is my thoughts on the CRO? Let's take a look at CRO. Uh, CRO has been, <laughs> has been behaving like a stable coin. Let's see. CRO right here. Yeah, definitely uh, stable coin behavior, you know, at least recently. Uh, hasn't really done much. So, yeah, I think... Uh, right here, the lows gotta be in. You know, if the lows are not in, like around here, that would not be good. Um, right now, you know, no signs that the that the lows are in. So, what we're going to do is this, right? Um, this yellow line right here is a resistance. You know, right now, uh, we need to wait for a pullback. You know, a pullback. Is going to confirm if this is the bottom. I'm looking at the full hour right here. So I don't know how high this thing is going to go. Uh, let's say we go up here. So we need to come back, you know, hold these lows right here, or, you know, we come back right here. But we just can't lose 10 cents. You know, you lose 10 cents, uh, the downtrend continues. Uh, but what I'm looking at is, you know, if you go from the top of the move, all the way down. Yeah, this is a 43% drop. Yeah, I think yeah, I think the lows are in. If the lows are not in, you know, we are very, very close. But I think the lows are in right here. Uh, but you need a pullback to confirm. And then, you know, as far as I'm concerned, you know, you have a, a trend line right here that's going to act as a resistance. You know, if we can break above the trend line, pull back. You know, stay above the trend. You know, hold these lows right here. Ah, uh, this is the daily. So what? What the hell am I doing? Ah, uh, something like this. So if we can go up, boom, boom. You know, you want to get in right here if you're trading. Uh, you want to wait for this bounce. Uh, if you're a long-term holder, I'll, I'll say load up right here at eleven cents. And of course, you know, targets. 
you got 18. So going from the lows up to 18, that's a 60% move. All right. Uh, let's take a look at AVAX. You know, AVAX right here, lows are definitely in. Uh, what I would say is AVAX is a big buy right now. Uh, we are consolidating, you know, building a base for the next, you know, big move. Uh, if you go to the daily, you can clearly see what's going on. Higher lows, higher lows, you know, more likely a higher low right here. Uh, we got to break above. Yeah, we need to get above uh, 41, uh, $41. Need to get above this resistance right here. Uh, but AVAX looks really good. Really, really, really good. Yeah, you should definitely load up. Like once, the, once this thing starts going up, let me give you some targets after. You know, we're going straight to $80. Uh, after $80, we're going above $100. All right, these are my two targets. Solana. Uh, Solana pullback definitely over. All right, this move, you know, going to take out, you know, 190 right here. After 190, we're going back to 205 to uh, 210 right here in this range. All right, but if we go to the weekly, uh, really the big target is the old time high. You know, on the weekly, Solana is going to the all time high. So looking really good in terms of, you know, accumulating right now. Uh, great place to get in was definitely in, you know, the $120 range right here was a great place to get in. Uh, but if you missed out, you know, that accumulation, this is not a bad place to get in. And then we have the graph. Uh, lows are in, you know, graph is consolidating. Uh, big move coming pretty soon, you know, up to 50 cents. And after 50 cents, we're going to 83 cents. Uh, if we go to the daily, you can clearly see what's going on. Uh, put a train line right here. I mean, respecting the train line pretty well. Uh, probably a breakout pretty soon. Uh, we got 35 cents as your first local target. After 35, you have 42. After 42, you have you know, this 50 cents target. This is your daily. Uh, yeah, but graph looks really good. You should be loading up right here. Uh, when the graph was right here, I was telling you guys to, you know, buy as much as you can because I thought the bottom was in. And the bottom was in fact in because if you look at the aftermath, lower highs, and uh, now it's time to go up. Remember, look at the title of my live stream. Brand new old time highs, guys. New old time highs are right around the corner uh, and then you have you know gala uh, gala is really about to take off you know pretty soon i see a very big move right here uh pushing us all the way up on the weekly you know these are your weekly targets and we're going all the way up to like 15 cents i believe uh on the daily you got some local targets you know, 66, 70 cents, and then uh, not 60 cents, uh, six cents, eight cents, and six cents, seven cents, and eight cents. All right. Uh, carrots, uh, going crazy. Yeah, I mean, yeah, we talked about it yesterday. So, yesterday, when I analyzed it, you know, at first I was like, all right, this is a little bit too extended. But then, you know, the more I looked at the chart, I was like, oh, this thing is about to run actually. So, you know, if you look at carrot, you know, right now, it's at a, yeah, I mean, exactly, because I was like, once it breaks this, you know, it's going much, much higher. And I was looking at the daily setup. Uh, that was looking extremely bullish. You know, we're coming from here all the way up to, you know, the current price. Yeah, that's a big 80% move. Yeah, I mean, th yeah, this thing looks super, super bullish. So, yeah, this is not a surprise at all. Uh, and, and this is going to continue. This is not the end of this. The crazy part is, a uh, fairly new project, you know, this is a first, uh, you know, somewhat of a massive, you know, weekly move. You know, I think this thing is going higher. I think I saw $3 was, you know, the target that I, you know, shared with you guys yesterday. So if you go to my, you go to yesterday's live stream, you know, right here. You know, let me show you exactly what, 
what I was looking at. Uh, guys, make sure you smash that like button. So we talked about it yesterday. 